Hi guys, Miles here and welcome back to my channel. I've been waiting a few months for the perfect rescue rabbit to add to my family, and when I saw this post on a Facebook group that I'm a part of which finds homes for rabbits in need, I was super excited. Here in the post you can see mom who had one planned litter and then followed that up by a surprise litter, and then in the second picture you can see all of her adorable babies. I asked if there were any males available because I do prefer male rabbits for my lifestyle, and found this adorable little boy who was ready to go home and whom I could pick up in a handful of days. So join me as I get ready to bring home a new baby bunny. everything that I needed I got up super early as in before the sun was up and drove about an hour away to go pick up my new family member. His foster mom had him in this big box that had enough space for all of his litter and hay and other things so this is how he arrived to me and this is how we rode home. When we first got there he was a little bit unsure so I put him in just the hutch area and let him explore all on his own for a while. I do have dogs in the house so I normally make a nice dark cozy area for my rabbits to run to anytime they feel a little bit scared. And I use an X-Pen around the enclosure to keep the dogs at a distance at first. For Kanji this was the upper area of the hutch so I put everything he would possibly need up there while giving him the option to either stay there and do those things or come downstairs and have them there as well. The hutch offers a little window which I have plexiglassed so he could kind of look out and see everybody but he didn't have to be out in the X-Pen yet where he was more exposed. Once he was super comfortable he started coming out and exploring all on his own and I got this adorable video of him running around enjoying the X-Pen space. You can see at the end of this video he jumps up on top of one of his little hides that is made out of cardboard and you can see my dog off screen watching on but then not coming any closer. 
he kind of takes notice of the dog, but then goes, okay, I'm not super scared that I'm gonna need to run away. I'm gonna hang out here. And this is how they kind of get to know each other. I don't allow my dogs up super close and they have to lie down if they're gonna be nearby. So this was my dog just kind of saying, hi, I'm here, but not pressing any proximity. Kanji also does this super cute thing where he will sit in one of his elevated dishes and groom himself and kind of just camp out and I think it's absolutely adorable. Once he was acclimated to the X-Pen space, I started bringing in games to play with him so you can see him here knocking down some little things I've set up and then you can also see him beginning to explore me, which is super exciting. After a few times of me just sitting in the enclosure, he was actually brave enough to come up and perch on my leg. At the end of this video, you can see one of my dogs, and that is Arrow. He is lying down nearby, being very respectful of the rabbit's space and not being intimidating. My dogs have grown up with rabbits, so they know exactly how to act to make a new bun feel comfortable. Alright guys, thank you so much for sharing in this super exciting moment for me. I hope you liked Kanji, and if you'd like to see more of him in the future, leave me a comment down below. Thank you for watching, I love you all, and stay awesome. Bye!